So when I'm not peer me to death in Fortnite with an echoey microphone just trying to get a victory royale, or repeatedly dying to people better than me in Minecraft, or just mobs in general, I do much more train work. Yeah. Morning to you. Why are you... Yeah, I know, I know. This isn't a gaming video, but those are still coming around. I've been meaning to broaden my content to other stuff for a while now. And so, um, from here on out, the content will be mostly gaming videos with the occasional trained videos sprinkled in. And what better way to start with a collection video? So let's get into it. We'll start with the first one completed in fall of 2021. Percy! Percy was the first model I completed. It's probably the easiest to do out of the whole collection. Probably because how small he is and how I didn't have to do any mods to the body whatsoever. He was made from a Hornby 04 pocket rocket, which are really easy to come by. Oh, they would just paint him green and make all the details with metallic sharpies. Super easy. Easy one of my favorites in a collection because how he turned out. Very nice. Gordon. Gordon is an old Hornby A1 with no mods to the body. I usually see people use like a Fowler tender or an LMS tender or even a group standard tender for Gordon in this case. But I wanted to use a Corda tender as one is a tender drive engine and I don't think it would work without a tender. And B, it would be easier and cheaper to just use the Corda tender. The lining is a little crooked on the tender, but I'm pretty proud of it nonetheless. Really like how his finish on the body turned out. One of my favorites, to be honest. Thomas. Thomas was made using a body shell made by the LBSE Thomas on Twitter in a Hornby Terrier chassis. I went with the flat running board as I prefer it over the dipped running board that I see in the TV series. I just never really liked how it looked with the dip only in one front and at the back. The smoke box door was from a 3D printed file I found at Thingiverse that was made for a Tony auto. I wish I could tell you he made it, but I haven't been able to find him ever since. I might put it on screen if I find it eventually. Thomas is easily my favorite model in the whole collection, mostly because of how he turned out and because, you know, it's Thomas. Duchess. She has a quiet story that how she came to be. I originally got a Hornby City of Bristol set for Christmas last year, and I just painted in white as part of my AU. I'm not gonna spoil it, but I'll get into it later. And I painted her white. I didn't realize it was the exact same basis as Duchess in the TV show, and so I just rolled with it. It's Duchess. Kind of funny how she came to be, and it's still a favorite one of my in the collection. Henry. Henry was made from a Bachman 5MT. I wanted to use a 460 that wasn't a Black 5, as I was looking for more of a pilot style model for Henry. You know, with the very high running board like Gordon's pilot model. And it looked pretty cool as well. How Henry is a 5MT in my AU will be explored more in a solo video coming soon. Hamilton, the first model for the big city railroad AU of mine. Hamilton was made from an old Bachman 060 that I found on eBay that had the front broken off. The front is actually made from an index card of super glue in place, which kind of gives it a unique aura compared to my other models in the collection. Hamilton will definitely be getting his own video spotlight video, where I'll dive into the history of him and his class. Little Owl, the duckyard shunner from Tug has arrived. He was made from a very old 060 I found on eBay and I couldn't find the brand, but it did have Santa Fe lettering, which was removed and then I lined it out in yellow. And also painted the front with red and yeah, really easy. Very proud of how this guy looks. One of the cleanest in the collection. Puffa. Puffa's quite the unique case as in Tug sees an 060 in the show. But my model is an 0440. I went with an 04 instead of an 060 like what everyone else will use as in the show he was just made from the Markle engine used in the background for Thomas, which was just a German gauge one engine. And they tried to make it American with a big ass fun on the cat catcher, which just didn't really fly with me to be honest. It'll be a lot cheaper to use a different engine. So I went with an old 04 I found on eBay for cheap. Being a smoke box store and the funnel silver, also along with a steam dome gold. The cow catcher I sourced from a Fat Man 040 on eBay as well. I pried it off from the front with pliers and I super glued the puffa. It somehow fit perfectly, which I'm really proud of. Very nice. Love this guy. He'll definitely be getting his own video along with Little Owl eventually. Number three. This guy doesn't really have a name yet and he's also not really finished. But he is a part of the Big City Railroad AU. Well, along with Hamilton. He was been using an old 280 model, which I couldn't find the brand of it since. And he's painted in the BCRR's Burgundy Goods livery. He'll also be getting a spotlight video just like Hamilton in the future. So look out for that. 
Dash. Dash is another one here in the whole collection, mainly because of how I custom designed three pretty them myself. Dash is mounted on a Bachman Thomas chassis with the middle wheel pickups and motor removed. He isn't powered due to how small he is, but man, he looks good. I do want to make Dash in the future, so I'll go for that. Dash is pro another one of my favorites in the whole collection, as I've never seen anyone try to do a realistic take on the Logan Locos. I wonder why. Red Snapper, the pioneer of Doc Tech Summer himself, Red Snapper. He was made for my Bachman Thomas show along with an 06 low chassis that I found. It was probably knockout chassis, but it works. The running board I actually 3D printed for, for this whole project. He is more of a background shutter, but I'm so proud of him nonetheless. He'll also be getting his own video on how I built him in the future. So yeah, that's the whole collection. I know it's kind of small right now, but I do have plans to expand it further. Edward is one of the top priorities at the moment. I also want to make James, Molly, Porter, Toby, Bash, Duck, Oliver, Flora, and my own take on Ferdinand. And like I said earlier, I do plan on making solo videos for most of these guys, where I explain their backstory, build process, and etc, etc, etc. So that's kind of it. As I said, the content will be consisting of gaming and train stuff from now. And yes, yeah, stay tuned. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. He copied my whole fucking flow!